okay uh, so this is a reduction of uh, acidic uh, halides um, Uh, uh, this uh, organotins continuation. Uh, uh, let's uh, give an entry. Okay, I think somebody is waiting. I think no one is waiting. Uh, right. So, continuation of organotins, uh, more particularly the application of organotins in uh, organic synthesis. So, reduction of acid halides. So, reduction of acid halides. Here, uh, you know that RCOCl is called uh, uh, acid halides, okay? Reduction of acid halides, right? Uh, uh, okay, fine. So this is RCOCl means acid uh, chloride, okay? So R may be a alkyl group, R may be a aryl group. So when it is treated with uh, tributyl tin, so here, tributyl tin will act as a source of hydrogen. So what it will do, uh, it replaces Cl with hydrogen. So that means, what is the product of time? The product of time is an aldehyde. That means, it is possible to convert acid chloride into aldehyde uh, with the tributyl tin. And so look here. Of course, this is also a uh, what is called as acid halide. But in addition to the formation of RDA, it, it also leads to the formation of ester. So how the ester is formed? By the combination of RDA and then uh, the radical obtained by the acyl radical. So during this process, acyl radical is generated. That acyl radical uh, reacts with the hydrogen radical. Then it's forming an RDA. So once there is a formation of aldehyde, this aldehyde again react with the uh, radical, acid radical, means acyl radical, then there is a formation of ester. So this is a, these two are the general reaction. So general reaction means acid uh, chloride, when it is treated with the tributyl tin hydride, it gives anhydride. Similarly, acid chloride, when it is treated with the uh, uh, tributyl tin, it give, uh, gives an ester. Okay, so with this, I will go to the next slide. So look here. Next here, I am explaining about the mechanism. So tributyl tin. So this uh, tributyl tin, uh, when it is uh, 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 exposed to a light or uh, what is called as uh, uh, 
radical initiator so radical initiator it will create a radical that radical react with the tributyl tin and that gives you a tributyl tin radical tributyl tin radical uh, uh, react with the acid chloride here there will be a homolytic cleavage and giving rise to acyl radical this acyl radical when it is react with the tributyl tin so the bond between the tin and hydrogen undergoes homolytic cleavage and liberate a hydrogen radical that hydrogen radical react with this uh, as acyl radical forming a anhydride uh, aldehyde so this is how the aldehyde is obtained suppose a acid uh, means what is called as a acyl radical let's give an entry right this is an acyl radical acyl radical when it is treated with aldehyde so you know that uh, the bond pair okay a carbon and the oxygen bond pair so that undergoes homolytic cleavage it means that there will be a new bond formation between this oxygen the radical and uh, this uh, carbonyl carbon radical so carbonyl carbon radical right okay so if there is a bond formation between this oxygen and uh, this uh, 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 carbonyl carbon so there will be a formation of uh, what is called as a uh, uh, ester but there is an a radical here so this radical again react with the uh, uh, hydrogen radical from a tributyl tin hydride so that is how an ester is obtained this is about the mechanism how the tributyl tin hydride converts an acid chloride to aldehyde as well as a ester so next uh, we will take an uh, examples so how the percentage of aldehyde what is the percentage of aldehyde is obtained what is the percentage of uh, uh, ester is obtained so we'll go to that one so look here i am uh, taking a benzoyl chloride b e n z o y l so c o stands for benzoyl o o y l okay benzoyl chloride so when it is treated with uh, tributyl tin hydride so this bromide is replaced with hydrogen how it is replaced so this undergoes homolytic cleavage forming a benzoyl radical that benzoyl radical react with the hydrogen radical forming a benzaldehyde similarly benzoyl chloride when it is treated with the uh, uh, tributyl tin so what is happening it is observed that in addition to the aldehyde formation it also leads to the formation of ester up to 35% and 65% aldehyde is obtained so that means 1 gram means 0.65 gram of aldehyde 0.35 gram of ester more particularly with respect to the mole a okay, mole means you know that uh, what is mole so i am taking one more example this is an uh, aryl uh, c6h5 is an aryl but here i am taking a propyl c3h7 it's a propyl so name the here the name is wrong you need to correct it uh, 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 this is a propyl so this carbon means butyl then uh, butyryl chloride name of this compound is butyryl chloride this is not a benzoyl chloride so benzoyl chloride is this butyryl chloride when it is treated with a uh, 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 tributyl tin hydride so what it will do there will be a homolytic cleavage so there will be a homolytic cleavage forming a radical that radical uh, react with the hydrogen radical forming a uh, aldehyde of 13% the formation of aldehyde in uh, 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 alkonil well, how how do you differentiate aryl this is a benzoyl and uh, this one is a uh, aryl okay aryl is a general name for the uh, benzoyl uh, means uh, what you call uh, aryl ketones 
this is alkyl ketones okay it's not a ketone alkyl acid chloride aryl acid chloride so in the case of aryl acid chloride aldehyde will be the major in the case of alkyl uh, uh, acid chloride uh, aldehyde will be the less quantity whereas the ester will be the more quantity that difference you need to remember so this is about the examples of uh, reduction of acid chlorides so with this i will go to the next slide okay so here reduction of carbonyl compounds the addition of the reagent addition of the this is the reagent addition of the reagent across the double bond so that what it means hydrogen will add to more substituted carbon atom tin will add to uh, oxygen metal so that is how an intermediate is obtained this intermediate on hydrolysis hydrolysis means breakage here so that is how an alcohol is obtained what it means it means that alcohol carbonyl compounds may be a, a ketone or ester okay a carbonyl compounds more particularly ketone is the best results you can expect a ketone or the ketone may be a mixed ketone or a simple ketone or identity uh, symmetrical ketone or unsymmetrical ketone so ketones are converted into alcohol by treating with uh, tributyl tin hydride see similarly here i am taking examples i think you are aware about the canonical what you call conformational analysis so here the uh, what is called as a bulky group is attains a what is called a equatorial position this is actual this is also actual so when this hydride will add to this carbonyl group uh, this o means oxygen and uh, tin uh, will form a will occupy a equatorial position because it's a bulky group so that is how equatorial hydroxy is the point obtained so this is about uh, uh, as far as when uh, a conformational uh, uh, cyclo uh, exonone when it is treated with uh, tributyl tin so with this i will go to the next slide so look here reduction of cyclic uh, secondary alcohol so this is a uh, alcohol of course it's a secondary alcohol uh what will happen so this when it is treated with a, a compound what is the name of this compound it's a, a double bond and then a, a chlorine so what is happening here the cl and h is going out so forming an oxy compound this oxy compound when it is treated with h2s h2s is a gas but uh, it can be generated and it can be purged to the reaction media so what will happen this n is replaced by sulfur so this is the compound it's a thioester is obtained this thioester when it is treated with a tributyl tin hydride so what it will do so hydride will add to this carbon then this is going out that means thio uh, benzo thero thio benzoic acid is the living group and uh, hydrocarbon is the product what it means so it means that a alcohols can be converted into hydrocarbons removal of dehyd uh, dehydroxyl group okay uh, can be achieved by using a tributyl tin hydride okay so with this i will go to the next uh, uh, slide so look here i am taking one more example so reduction of alkenes and alkynes so what is this is an alkene so this alkene when it is treated with uh, tributyl tin hydride so here abn is a uh, what is called as a radical initiator so in addition to the radical initiator sulfur is also added so this sulfur also act as a radical initiate uh, uh, propagation step so once the radical is initiated by ab and so that can react with the sulfur and sulfur can form a sulfur radical that sulfur radical can react with the tributyl tin hydride and giving rise to uh, uh, butyl tin hydride radical and neutral molecule sh is a neutral molecule it will go out 
So once uh, tributyl thin radical is formed, that will react with a double bond. So more particularly, electron with a drawing containing double bond. So there will be a radical formation like this. Of course, what will happen? There will be a new bond formation between this carbon and the tin. And this sun, uh, when it is treated with one more equivalent of tributyl tin, so there will be a, a product formation like this. So this is about what is called as how the, uh, uh, what is called uh, uh, alkenes, okay? Alkenes, how the alkenes are react with tributyl tin hydride. It's nothing but a, a new bond formation uh, between the alkene carbon and the uh, tributyl tin, okay? So with this, I will go to the next slide. So next slide is about the few examples I am taking. So look here, this is an ethyl ester, this is a benzyl group. Of course, a double bond is there. So this is the one where there is a reaction occurs. These two are substituents. Okay, so then what will happen? Uh, this uh, tributyl tin hydride, when it is added to double bond, there will be a new bond formation between this carbon and this uh, tin. So that is, that's what I have written the product. And this double bond is converted into single bond. Similarly, here, instead of C6H5, here there is a CH3. That is the difference. The reactive species is same. Reactive species is a double bond. This double bond reacts with the uh, tin. So there will be a new bond formation between this carbon and this uh, tin. And this carbon is attacked by H radical. That means uh, uh, double bond is converted into single bond. This is uh, these are the two examples of what happens when a alkene or alkyne uh, react with the tributyl tin. So with this, I will go to the one more uh, kind of uh, uh, reaction that is a reduction of nitro group. I think you are aware, aware about the nitro group. So this is a nitro group. This uh, uh, a tertiary or secondary aliphatic nitro groups is replaced with hydrogen. That means removal of uh, nitro group. Nitro group can be removed or a nitro group can be replaced with hydrogen. So with this, I will go to the next slide. So deoxygenation of alcohol. So deoxygenation means removal of oxygen. And this is about a barton uh, mccombe reaction. It's a name reaction, Barton. I think you are aware about the Barton decarboxylation. So the Barton decarboxylation, I will explain uh, maybe uh, over a few slides. But here, I'm talking about more barton uh, mccombe reaction. Then what is the barton mccombe reaction? It's nothing but a reaction of alcohol with the sodium hydride. So what it will do sodium hydride, it will form an anion here. So O minus is obtained. That O minus reacts with electron deficient carbonyl carbon. So that means it will form a compound like this. O, C double bond, yes, S minus. This S minus, when it is react with an electrophile like methyl hydride, so there will be a, a thioester formation like this. Once there is a thioester formation, as this moiety is treated with a tributyl tin hydride. So in this tributyl tin hydride, there will be a homolytic cleavage between the tin and hydrogen. There will be a homolytic cleavage between the carbon and the sulfur. So what will happen? So there will be a new bond formation between this sulfur and this tin. There will be a new bond formation between this carbon and uh, hydrogen. Then what will happen? Uh, a, a radical is formed here because so this bond pair breaks. Bond pair breaks means here radical one form and this radical form a bond with a tin. So there is a there is a compo there is a, a what is called uh, intermediate like this. At this time, this particular bond cleaves. When this particular bond cleaves, here there is a formation of uh, radical. That radical is attacked by hydrogen radical. So that is how an hydrocarbon is obtained. Overall, a alcohol is replaced with hydrogen. 
so this reaction is called uh, mckumbi barton mckumbi reaction so what are the reagents sodium hydride uh, carbon disulfide methyl iodide and uh, tributyl tin hydride so in any reaction if you are able to see these reagent what are the reagent sodium hydride carbon disulfide methyl hydride and uh, tributyl tin hydride so that particular reaction is nothing but a barton mckumbi reaction so in the barton mckumbi reaction a hydroxy group is converted into hydrocarbon so that's what you need to remember so with this i will go to the next slide next slide i will take you example okay examples of barton mckumbi reaction so look here this is one example i think you are aware about the fatty acid okay the so when the fatty acid is uh, reduced you will get an alcohol this is a alcohol okay long chain hydroxy group long chain containing hydroxy compound so this uh, when it is heated with sodium hydride there will be anion formation so that anion react with an electrophile so again cs minus forms that s minus react with methyl and then that was treated with the tributyl tin hydride and this oh is replaced with hydrogen this is a, if you want to write the mechanism for a conversion of this an alcohol to this hydrocarbon you can write so with this i will go to the next slide next slide i will take you one uh, 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 a, a stereochemical example okay so look here this is a stereochemical example it's a bicyclic compound of course you can take this as a uh, of course what is happening here uh, uh, maybe you are aware that this hydroxy group a two hydroxy glycol group is protected with acetone similarly this here uh, two hydroxy group this hydroxy group is protected with acetone so okay that's all okay here there is a two hydroxy that was protected with acetone two hydroxy it was protected with acetone but here one hydroxy is there that is a free hydroxy this hydroxy is reacting with sodium hydride forms an anion that anion is attacking carbonyl carbon forms a s minus that s minus react with uh, this methyl okay forms an thioester that thioester react with the tributyl tin hydride and what will happen there will be a replacement of this oh with hydrogen of tin so that is what the product is obtained so this is about what is called as uh, barton mckumbi reaction so barton mckumbi reaction means conversion of an hydroxy group into hydrogen Other, not uh, what you can say that replacement of hydroxy group with hydrogen how it is replaced an hydroxy compound is treated with the sodium hydride carbon disulfide and methyl iodide followed by tributyl tin hydride so that will give you a replacement of hydroxy group with the hydrogen so with this i will go to the next slide so look here so this is called the barton decarboxylation sometimes there will be a questions on barton decarboxylation so look here this is a carboxylic acid and this is a, what is called as a tetracyclic compound the, the one contain an n hydroxy and uh, adjacent carbon will have a thioketo so what is happening you know that this is an uh, acid this is an alcohol so there will be removal of h and oh removal of water how the water is removed by treating with dcc dcc is a dehydrating agent so that is how an ester is obtained so once the ester is obtained it was treated with the tributyl tin hydride of course this reaction is initiated by aibn what is aibn uh, aza isobutyronitrile aza isobutyronitrile uh, itself cleaves and forms a free radical uh, that free radical one react with the tributyl tin hydride there will be a new free radical formation that is a tributyl tin radical that tin radical reacts how it will react so here there will be a cleavage this particular pi bond cleaves forms a new bond with sulfur and a tributyl tin and there will be a new radical is formed on this carbon once there is a new car here i have shown 
this is the new uh, uh, radical form once there is a radical form here this particular bond cleaves in a homolytic fashion that means this oxygen takes its electron this nitrogen takes its electron so what it means there will be a double bond formation like this so this is the product of that what is happening here so there will be a removal of carbon dioxide so that is the reason this reaction is called uh, barton decarboxylation okay i think you are aware about uh, one more thing no what is that uh, maybe in the uh, 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 what is uh, steroids okay there also uh, barton uh, scientist uh, name is there okay don't confuse with the this uh, barton decarboxylation and uh, aldosterone synthesis uh, barton reaction okay there all okay that is the, uh, a different uh, uh, reaction this is different reaction so this is about what is called as organotins okay today we discussed uh, about uh, application of organotins more particularly in the conversion of uh, uh, acid halides to aldehydes sometimes acid halides uh, uh, converts aldehydes as aldehydes uh, in addition to aldehydes it will also convert into a ester okay and uh, in addition to that we also discussed about uh, two name reaction one is barton decarboxylation and another one is barton wecumbi reaction so this is about uh, today's class maybe uh, a remaining thing uh, i will uh, take in the next class so what you can do uh, maybe uh, if you have a doubts you can ask me and uh, if there is no doubt uh, you can uh, uh, log out